Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Legacy of Kane. Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. For the PS1. Uh, we cleared out the side areas of the... Of Dark Eden. And, uh... Now, we're gonna go this way. This way, I say. We have our flame sword equipped, right? Because we're gonna need it. Oh, man, I hate these guys so... Okay, I... Whoa! Alright, uh... No, I want... As cool as Pentelith of Tarot is, I think I want this. Yeah, that... <laughs> to heck with that guy. Okay. These guys are easy to kill with the flame sword. You know what? I did not know about that stuff and didn't get it in my practice file. Huh. I actually, I noticed that thing and I was like, man, I don't think I can get through there. Maybe with mist, but it's not on my walkthrough, so I'm not going to do it. So that opened this middle door and up we go. Simple enough, right? All right. Now this is a pain in the butt. Unless you're good like me. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, you you definitely want this spell for this. Cause I mean look at this. We'll take the little bit of damage from the floor spikes. Nobody cares about that. We do vertical sandwich No you don't. You don't. You don't, and it's obvious to anybody paying attention that you don't. So now we have this area and it's two different things we can go do. The first one, flesh armor. Let's go do that. Flesh armor it is. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, because flesh armor has a ton of victims. How convenient. This armor, wrought with the blood of noblemen, drains the blood from my enemies for me, leaving me to focus on the slaughter at hand. Oh, good. We get to focus on slaughter. I'm so happy. All right. I'm trying to lure these guys away so I don't hit the, hurt the victims. Oh, please. Help me, kind sir. Help me, kind sir. Please. Okay. Oh, no. oh. Alright, now if we can just get them into this hallway, we're good. All right. Oh, all right. I didn't Now I can just kill things. I, it doesn't even matter. If if victims get murdered at the same time. Whoa, hey. I actually want to flay these guys. See, there's stuff like that going on. I, not a fan. But look at all these victims. Seriously. What? <laughs> help me, help me, help me, kind, 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 sir, sir, sir. Help me, kind, sir. 
Are you, are you all done now? Alright. That's that. We have to do the other one, too. We don't have options here. So it's time to go get Spirit Death. Whoa! Hey! You guys! Alright. That opens that. Yeah, you gotta watch out, because if these guys hit you once, they'll bounce you back and forth on the spikes. So it's either flay them all, or uh, use your repel spell. Oh, it is a spell worthy of the necromancer himself. This allows me to dissect a creature's soul from its vessel of flesh. For these poor wretches, only oblivion awaits. Okay. I don't really know what that does, to tell you the truth. I did not try it in my practice file. So, uh... Ah. So there we go. It's just another thing. That's it. It's just another thing. But man, we're sure getting the rune triangles here. And like I said, I'm ahead of my practice file. So there we go. We have spirit death. We got... That armor uh, doesn't really seem to do much for me. So I haven't really used it. I know you're just like... Uh, if anybody can explain what that armor does, and I'm talking to you, Reaver of Cupcakes, uh, please do. Please do. I expect I will have an answer from Reaver of Cupcake shortly. Like the day this video goes up. So, because I put it on, and I thought what would, what it would do is automatically suck blood out of anything I got into, like, critical blood state. But it didn't, it doesn't seem to do that. So, yep, I don't know. Alright, so this is our save point. And up we go. Ah, not one, but three. Dejul the Energist, Bane the Druid, and Anacroth the Alchemist. How considerate of them to hasten my search. So the scourge of the circle has arrived. Fear him not, Bane. He is but a whelp. His soul is ours for the taking. Don't be ridiculous, Malik. To our aid. Ooh. Damn you, Alchemist. I had not come this far only to have my quarry escape. Vengeance for my eternity of suffering. Welp! As if you knew what eternity was. Grovel before your true master! Never. I'll hack you from crotch to gizzard and feed what's left to your brides. <laughs> I do like that. Where he's just like, I'll cut you open and feed you to your women. An epic battle. As Vorador clashed against Malik, I gave pursuit to the fleeing wizards, the Jewel and Bane. I danced their dance. When the time came, they would dance upon my sword. His magic is weak! He is an affront to nature itself! It is our duty to purify him! Yeah, you gotta watch for the projectiles and try to get this guy as he's running by you. 
Try not to let him knock you into the water he's creating. This is really kind of rough. Now if you can get him when he's running back past you, you get some good shots in at him. He's not really good at avoiding getting murdered. I will say that. Ugh. Really, man, come here. Ah! Her projectile, they just like hang out. Really hate it. And there's stuff like that. Look at that. That was a nasty damage like roll there. Ugh. There we go. We got him. So now, for her. The antler headdress had broken in the fight, but power still resided in its ivory form. Now what I wanted. I want this. There we go. Now, we put on some flays. There we go. That did it. The cloak was made from an alloy akin to lead, heavy and malleable, woven into fine links. The energy she controlled was stored in this garment. All right. So there we go. Two bosses and now I think we go this way. I found Malik's helmet amongst the scattered remnants of his armor, whole and intact. Vorador had finally laid his old adversary to rest. All right. So let's go take care of uh, some plotline. Yay. Oh, there are pillars somewhere, I guarantee it. Oh, there they are. There's nine of them, huh? Well, we've got four of them taken care of. The helmet of Malak I placed before the Pillar of Conflict. The Pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. The act had taken on the feel of ritual. Isn't it strange how we must bribe our gods to stay? At the foot of the energy pillar, I set the cloak of Dejul. The Pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. The antler headdress of the Druid Bane I lay before the nature pillar. The pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. You must seek Azimuth the Planar at the heart of Avernus. Three instruments await you to aid you in your quest. But first, you must rise, and you must fall, and find your salvation in between. All right, crazy riddles. When we come back, uh, we will be heading on to, I don't know, whatever's next. There's a thing. There's stuff I've done. We'll be doing that again. I will see you guys for that. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it because I know you don't have to do it. And you take care. Bye, everybody.